What's going on guys? <clears throat> so this is part two of the Laravel chat uh, sort of series tutorial. Here we left off. Um, here's where the register and login. Uh, this is basically um, what we did in part one. So the next part is actually messing with the um, chat API. So we're gonna go into our route and we're gonna start off by first uh, let's install this package. This is a package we're going to be using. Um, so let's go ahead and install it. So while that installs, let's check if there's anything else we need to do. So it says we need to publish the configuration and then do PHPMI, uh, PHPMI migrate, and then add this message of all to the actual uh, user model. Okay, so let it install. Okay, next thing is, is to publish. Uh, and then we have to go ahead and find the name of the package. Here it is, uh, it's these two. The number might be different for you guys, for me, it's 12 and 13. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 12 first. Then run the same command, do 13. There we go. Next thing is PHPRS and migrate. And there you go. So next one is, let's go ahead and clear this. Then the next one was, uh, yep. So we need to add this into our user model. So let's go ahead into our user.php. Add that there. And in here we just say message goal. All right, so next thing is just using the actual API. So they have a whole bunch of examples here. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is, let's go into our routes. So. And let's think about the routes that we need. So we, we need a route to create a chat between two people. So create a chat. Next one is um, getting all of our chats that we, that we belong to. So getting all of our chats. And next one is sending a message inside of a chat. So sending a message. And final one is getting all the messages that belong to a chat. So let's go ahead and code uh, all of these one by one. Um, I'm actually going to use a group for this. So we're going to go ahead and say route group. So what this is going to do is uh, um, it's basically saying any of the routes in here are automatically going to need the middleware off Scantrum. So this is the package that we're using, if you remember from part one, that allows us to use the API token uh, that that it gives us when we log in. So we're going to say all the routes in here need this. These are the routes that we're going to be putting inside of here. And we can go ahead and code code them one by one. So before we actually do that, let's go to our terminal and create a controller. Uh, chat controller. There we go. So now in here, we can say route. And this is creating a chat. So it's going to be a post. And we're going to name this one uh, slash slash chat and here we're gonna say chat controller at create so there's that one I'm gonna go ahead and copy this a couple of times 
and for getting all of our chats well that's a get so we're gonna change that and we can name we can leave that as chat as well we can name this index and sending a message it's gonna be a post and here we're gonna say um, Uh, which chat are we sending the message to? So we're gonna pass the ID of the chat. And then in here, we're gonna say, we're gonna put send. Name this send message. Again, here, we're doing kind of the same thing. We're gonna say the ID of the chat and slash messages. So, so the idea is we're gonna use this and secure this to get all of our chats then we pass the chat ID that we want to send the message to. We pass the chat ID of the one we want to get all of our messages. We need to go and rename this. I'm going to name this to show. Let's just delete this. And I'm going to go ahead and in here, just create all those functions. So we had public function create which is a post for all of them I'm actually going to include the request that way we can get the current user I'm going to go ahead and copy this three more times so we had create we had index we had send message and show and both of these send message and show had an ID that we were passing so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Cool. So now that we're here, uh, let's do one of them at a time. So for creating one, uh, first thing we want to do is validate the input. So we're going to say request validate. And we're going to pass the user ID of the person we want to create the chat with. So this is not the person who's logged in, but the person we want to pass, we want to create a chat with. So next thing we want to do is create a chat between two people. Um, the way we're going to do this is if we look at the API, I think there is a function called uh, between. Yeah, so this is what we want. Uh, the reason why we want this one is because we want to check if there's already a chat between these two people. And if there is, then let's not create one. Um, that's sort of the mindset behind this. Let's go ahead and import the package that we're using. So chat, there we go. And the two users that we want to use are our current user and our other person. So this, these two variables don't exist yet. Let's go ahead and create them. So current user is gonna be request user. That's gonna get the current user based on the API token. Then we have other person, which all we do is find the person based on the ID that we send. So request user ID. So this ID, we're getting it from the body, and then this user, we're getting from the API token. So there we have your two variables. And we have our chat. So the idea is if we, if we have a chat already, so let's just say, um, let's say if we don't have a chat, so if this variable is not set to anything, aka we don't have a chat, what we wanna do is create a chat. So to create a chat, let's just see how we can do that. I believe it's, um, let's search, I think it's create conversation. Yep, so you have to create a conversation, uh, make direct create conversation. So this is what we wanna do. So let's just go ahead and copy that. Rename this to chat. And the two people are just user 
and other person. And at the end, we're just going to return chat. So let's go over this real quick. So current user logged in, the other person. Let's see if they already have a chat together. If they don't, so that's the not, right? If it's not set, um, we go ahead and create that conversation, that chat. If it is set, this is going to get ignored and we're just going to return the chat. So that looks about right. So next we want to do is get all of our chats. That's the index. Um, this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, we just need to, let's go ahead and find that. I believe it's something like, um, is direct or something like that right here, get direct messages. So this is the one line that we want. Pretty simple. All we're going to do is in here, we're going to pass a current user who's logged in. And there you have it, that one line. And let's go ahead and return this. So return that should get us all of our chats. Next thing is sending a message inside of a chat. Again, with sending a message, you want to validate um, before saving anything. So let's make sure that we actually are getting a message. So we're going to say message. And the rule is that it's just required, you need to send me a message um, to use this endpoint. The next thing you want to do is get the current chat based on the ID. So let's just find the chat chat equals let's go ahead and look for it how to get one of the chats by the id i think it's um there we go so get by id let's go ahead and copy this and paste that so that will get us our current chat and we want to actually paste the message inside of this chat. Um, so to do this, what you do is, I think there's a from, there we go. So it's from, it's the message, who's sending it, the conversation, and yeah, so this is what we want to do here. So we're going to go ahead and copy this for the message, it's not going to be hello, but it's going to be what the entered. So it's going to be request message from who sent it. It's going to be the same thing as above. So you're just going to get the current user based on the token. And the message goes inside of the chat. And at the end, let's just return the message that was saved. And there you have it. We have one more function to code and then we can go ahead and test them all inside of Postman. So in here for the show, this is getting all the messages. So first we're gonna get the current chat like we did before. And to get all the messages, uh, let's see how it is. Get messages. Um, I believe it's just this. Yeah, get messages. So let's go ahead and test this. Messages. The conversation is the chat variable, and the person is. Same thing as above, request user. At the end, let's just go ahead and return this. And this all looks good. Let's go ahead and test this uh, inside of Postman. So first thing, I'm gonna need this API token. Copy. And I'm actually going to paste this token inside of here. It's going to make it a lot easier. Okay. And now in here, 
let's start with creating a chat which is let's just copy this URL and in here it's gonna be I believe it was just chat and we have to pass another user uh, I don't think we have another user so let's go ahead and create one so register let's just give this person another name so his ID is two so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to chat in the body that says we need to pass a user ID let's see what happens if I don't pass anything okay so it fails it said login route not found okay so I think it's not finding the all right I need to say accept JSON and then content type message is unauthorized okay so maybe that didn't work what I did before let's go ahead and copy this token Okay, so there you go. So we have the message uh, saying that the user ID is required. Okay, so we need to pass the user ID of the person we want to use. I mean, we want to create a chat with. So that his ID was two. And there you go, it created a chat. This chat ID is one. If I go ahead and run this again, you will notice it's still one. It didn't create another chat. Uh, that's because of the if statement that we have there. Uh, so what we want to do is let's just save this. I'm going to say creating a chat and let's put this inside of the chat. Okay. So the next one is getting all of my chats, super similar to this one. Let's duplicate this one, name this to get and remove the body. There you go. That gets all of our, all of our chats. Let's go ahead and save this one. Name it getting chat. And next one is uh, I'm putting a message inside of a chat. So let's go chat one and it was called send message, I believe. Let's just confirm it. It was called send. So let's go back to that other file and send requires a message so let's actually not send the message see what happens we get the validation working cool and let's go ahead and say message and type in what's going on there you go message is now inside of the chat telling me who sent it which is me the user one um and now let's save this one Oh, I saved it on the on the. Oh, that's fine. I'll rename it later. So I let's go ahead and test this one real quick. Let's duplicate this, and we're gonna do chat one slash uh, messages. Okay, so let's see what we have here. It looks like I think I forgot to change it to a. Yep, this needs to be a get. So I'm not really saving anything. Um, and there you go. So this guesses all of our messages. You can see my message and who sent it. User one. And that's the basic, you know, all of the API that we're going to need to create this app is already done. So we have authentication and we have our chat. So we can create a chat, get all of our chats, send a message inside of a chat and get all of our messages. That's the basic um, API done. Next part, we'll go ahead and start a, start the app. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, follow me on Instagram, Mackenzie Alvarez with two Z's, and follow me on YouTube. Catch you guys later.